It's a lecture. It's completely then, different. You know, when you visit Fiona Morrissey in Silver Spring, Maryland, you don't feel that her house is a small one. Everything is in its place, and there is plenty of open, inviting space. But Morrissey, a professional organizer, says it's very easy to fill that space up with stuff. There are so many choices available today that people can't make up their minds, so they buy everything. That's how the problem begins. It starts growing and growing and growing. The end effect is the same. You get a, a messy house that's dysfunctional and you can't find things you need. To help her clients get organized, Morrissey visits their homes. She inspects their accumulated stuff and urges them to be ruthless. You don't really need the boxes. So how about if we just flatten them out? Again, because you can't put them out in the trash like that. We can flatten them out. Yeah. Clutter is very manipulative and very cruel and very heartless. It wants to stay in your house. Washington psychologist Elspeth Bell says most hoarders are sensitive, intelligent, creative and kind. But when you have those four characteristics combined with the anxiety and with the depression and with the attention issues, you're much more likely to have a circumstance where an individual is overwhelmed, has difficulty making decisions. Such as to throw something away. She says hoarding tends to run in families. If growing up, the message that you received from your parents or your grandparents was, no, you can't throw that away. No, we don't want to waste anything. Those messages tend to get internalized, and that then also fosters further hoarding behaviors. Fiona Morrissey says people can learn ways to manage their possessions. I found it very difficult to get rid of some of my birthday cards. So what I did was I got the best of them, and I made them into a picture, a collage. Knowing exactly what you have and where you keep it is another useful skill. See that box, a special box? Mm -hmm. That's where I keep it. That's where I keep my mother's diary the year I was born. Cards I made when I was three. That box is pretty full. Any, anything else, and I'll st have to start taking stuff out. And I know that, but I'm not starting the second box. What is the point of having things that you will never use? She shares those techniques with her clients. Clutter doesn't accumulate overnight, Morrissey says and it doesn't disappear overnight either. Keeping our stuff under control is a never-ending challenge. So I'm going to take this so you won't be tempted to keep it. I know it's tempting for you to get, I will, I'll remove temptation. It's, 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 so guess it's nice what? To see the sink again. Look at the sink, you see you got your sink back. For writer Faiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News, Washington.